I'm telling you right now, it's getting insane. Really getting insane. Not only there has been evidence that they cheated, that they committed fraud during the elections, but now they are making everything, they, they silent everything. The news is attacking the President of the United States by silencing everything. Don't be surprised. By the way, I just had a, a video removed here in my YouTube channel. It had nothing to do with the election. It had to do with guns. But don't be surprised if they start shutting down YouTube channels and videos like this. I'm about to show you a video. I'm going to show you a video and I'm going to show you a couple things here that I want you to understand. I'm telling you, it is insane. They are not putting the information out there. It is a, an attack against this administration, an attack against the President of the United States, so you are not informed. If you don't know, you can take action. Twitter is censoring the President of the United States. Do you understand that? Sink on it. Twitter is censoring the President of the United States. Facebook is censoring groups and information regarding this. And Fox News betrays the conservative movement Fox News betrayed the press in the United States completely. We saw how biased they have been. I'm about to show you something. You know what? No intro, nothing like that because this is has to come out. And I'm going to tell you, please share some of this information. Share this. Put it everywhere. And it is what it is, but we got to talk about this. I want you to see this. We want every legal vote to be counted. And we want every illegal vote. To whoa, whoa, whoa. I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up, I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. I want to make wow. sure that maybe they do have something to back that up. But that's an explosive charge to make. Wow. The other side. Wow. You just stopped. You just stopped the administration from passing information to the American people. You just made the decision, Fox News, to decide. You just decided that what she said that is coming from the President of the United States is not important to the American people. You just silent her while Americans, myself and my wife, were watching this, trying to get informed so we could make the right determination. You just silent her voice and say, no, it's not good. Well, sir, who made you the expert? As far as I know, we're getting information from a campaign that the American people elected, but apparently you are in charge. Apparently you're the one who share information. Apparently you're the one who decides this. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to tell you this right now. As you go to the president of the United States, the president of the United States, we got to see this because Twitter, again, censoring the pressing. And as you go down to this, they have all these little labels like this one's right here, right? That says this claim about election fraud is disputed. Really? Really? What kind of information do you have, Twitter? Do you have information regarding, I don't know, secret information? Do you have the information that have been made public? No. So you have people that belong to the government, people that have been elected by the people. This is not, let me tell you something. This is not Jarhead 6. This is not Fabian on his spare room talking about things, right? This is the President of the United States. This is the campaign of the President of the United States. This is Democratic and Republicans. Obviously, Republicans are being uh, 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 censored, but Republicans putting information that are being censored, but the Democratic guys could put anything. You know, they could put things like, well, Biden is the president-elect, Fox News, CNN, everyone, and it's okay. But if the president says, you know what, that's not cool, what's happening right now is fraud, it coming from the president of the United States, oh no, they decide, they decide that it's fraud and it's not, it's disputable, it's disputable, so they're not going to show you that. Well, must be nice. Last time I checked, the news is supposed to share information and we, the people, are supposed to make that determination, right? Look at this. When you click, by the way, when you click in that little thing right there, when you click there, it goes to this. And here what it says. We're ballot counting. We're ballot counting continuing in the presidential race. Wait a minute. Let's stop right now. So with ballot counting continuing, but you call Joe Biden president-elect? Kamala Harris, vice president-elect, I thought that was continuing, you know, presentation ballots being counted. Apparently, 
now, right? Let's go back to this. So again, you know, with ballots counting continuing and, and the president race being called for Joe Biden, well, apparently that's good. Who called the race for Joe Biden? The news did. Not no government, the news. But, you know, apparently the news more more knows more than our politicians, right? Experts and officials say that there has been no evidence of widespread uh, voter fraud in the 2020 elections. Really? Experts and officials? What experts and officials? Because as we see right now, here is an expert and here is an official from the uh, Mr. Trump administration, President, uh, uh, President Trump administration. She is saying that there is fraud. She is saying that there is issues going on right now. So who are these so-called experts and officials, right? Because the ones that we elected, President Trump, you know, campaign uh, press secretary right there. She does a fantastic job. She's saying that there is issues that there is fraud that there is uh, a ton of issues and you don't believe her so who are you believing here's the thing guys people say this i'm going to say it again people say this all the time you know private companies could do whatever they want that is true but not to this this right here is trying to influence the presidential debate or the presidential that just happened now 2020. That's what it's doing. That is legitimate, a propaganda attack to get the president out of the office. That is not no business, private business conducting private business. That's not what that is. That is an attack into our country, an attack into our culture, our history, an attack against the United States of America. Right there, you see it happening in front of you, like Fox News. Oh, you know, we cannot put this information out there. Who told you that you should be getting involved between us trying to listen to the news and making the right decision and, you know, officials of the government? Who told you that? It's insane. You saw that right there. I'm going to tell you, I'm done with Fox News. I'm done with Fox News. It was sad. Here's the full clip. Obviously, it was sad to be watching this. And as I'm watching this with my wife, it cuts out when the Q&A happened. And this fool comes out to say that. Well, we, we can't tell you. There's no evidence. What do you know? How do you know there's no evidence? Do you work for the government? Are you related to the attorney? Do you have any secret information? Do you have any intelligence? No. You know what you have? You are biased. And you want to take the President of the United States out of the office. I'm going to tell you everything. Everything is going against our President right now. Everything. But here's the thing, our Lord Jesus Christ is in control, and we are in prayer. We are in prayer. There is millions like me out there in prayer, praying for our president to, to you know, come out. The light, the light. There is darkness right now, but Jesus is the light, and the light will win. You will see. Let me know what you think. Put comments down below. And as always, God is in control.